it's not sorrow, it's a celebration of life and it's finally closure because all our dads and our uncles and aunts, they can now rest in peace. 35-year-old sailor Samuel Crowder gave his life serving his country. All of our veterans that didn't come home, they are heroes. And, and Sam is a hero to us, even though we never knew him, never talked to him. Crowder was stationed on the USS Oklahoma when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. The Oklahoma was hit by nine torpedoes, capsized and sank in 12 minutes. So there was a lot of damage done. The Kentucky native was one of 429 crewmen who died on that fateful day. The U.S. Navy tried but was unable to identify most of the bodies. They were buried at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Honolulu. In fact, just being over in Pearl Harbor really hit hard the first time I was there. Fred Crowder was drafted into the Navy in 1969. He says he stayed in the service to honor the uncle he never met. Just learning about my uncle, it just really made me proud to be there. Advances in DNA testing eventually led to the identification of Crowder's remains. That allowed the sailor to return home to a hero's welcome. He's been gone 76 years ago yesterday, and now it's just something that we can finally say, you're home. And as a, wa as a being retired Navy, I, I say, Uncle Sam, you're relieved of your watch. We have the con.